All right, back here with the Geo Metro G10 engine, three cylinder. Just uh, putting some more. This is part six, I believe, in the playlist. And just putting some more of the uh, accessories on it. So I'm going to start with this bracket here. Continue with this bracket, whatever. Uh, for the this car has an air conditioning so this is for the air conditioning and whatever else it holds the compressor goes in here and I, I don't know what else it does alright I'm going to put the motor mount bracket on this one here has a little wire clip I think it folds over the wires short one goes here and this one goes one to, through one to another through this bracket into that so I'll get that started Thirteen? Thirteen. Might have been a twelve. Twelve. Now I'm just going to start transferring the hardware over uh, what I know fits from the existing even though I don't have the manifold exhaust manifold on there now some of these uh, ones that are in the old engine are the stud type and I'll, I'll have to pull those but I just want to see which ones make sure everything fits and transfer over the ones I know can this one I don't believe is metric right so I'm going to leave that one out and buy a metric one for that. This one came out as a stud. The whole stud came out. I have a couple other studs that didn't come out. So I'll get those out and put in what I have. Alright, in my hoard of hardware I found that bolt. This one I found is supposed to be long because it has to go, I thought it just did the uh, engine strap here and it was going to bottom out but it goes through the manifold too so I found one for here metric, the only one I can't find in my hoard is a long fine thread metric like that and luckily I have an example to take to the store and find out what the heck that is um, and I need a nut for this one yet Alright, found the nuts. So I'm just going to put all the same nuts on there just so they're all new. And I think these ones are stainless, which is to me always an advantage. And it's nice because they're the same wrench, then you don't have one that takes a 12 millimeter and another one that takes a 10 or whatever. So, alright, now I'm going to find the exhaust manifold gaskets. Nice. 
you bugger. There it goes. Talk to it. Mm-hmm. I'll just put these on loosely for now. Um, I'm gonna wait till I get the other bolts and then get them all in the holes and then drive them in. And because this engine, it's never going to be easier to change, and this one is really cheap. Uh, the single wire ones are, I don't know if they're 20 bucks. It's its not like some of these, uh, the oxygen sensor anyway. I'm going to see if I can get this to, yep. Put this in now. Brand new. There's no reason not to. I don't have one in in, in my hands, but I will get one before I put it in the car. Come on, you crusty old goat. Uh, that one doesn't even look that bad. Not really black, but as cheap as these are, you do them all, you got them out. Even if it's not bad. Okay, just back on the um, exhaust side. Um, I had the original one bolt. I was missing one. And while I was getting the brush, I got these bolts. So we'll line everything up here. I didn't tighten any of the other ones all the way. so we could get them all started. Nope, can't quite get under there. That would have been too easy. Different size. Wrong socket. Different size heads on two bolts I just bought. I freaking love it. And what size is it? US size? No. Uh, that's what you call mismanufactured. I could actually see the difference now that I'm looking at them. Fantastic. Alright, I got the engine flipped back around. Now the uh, intake side's facing where you can see. Uh, I said incorrectly on a previous video that this I thought was for the motor mount or something. It's not. It's for the, the uh, alternator. It sits right in here. So uh, this is the tensioning bracket and this is the pivot. So just to correct that. Not that anybody couldn't have figured that out themselves. But uh, now we're going to work, work on getting all the hardware for the intake manifold set up. Okay, so this is uh, a used head. I see I, this one runs all studs. Those two aren't there, so I'm going to look around. We'll get those, put them, put them on. Okay, so in order to recondition this, in order to put it back on, of course I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Um, I've got a fully rebuilt throttle body that I'm going to put on. All new everything on that. Um, i got to get the rest of the gasket off here. But one of the things I noticed is... 
this hole here was partially plugged and what that is is it's uh, part of your EGR system and it goes through there around the back and into the hole here uh, let me get my camera lined up here it goes up into this hole here the EGR valve is on there and then the intake manifold is sucking through that this one was about 30% uh, plugged this one that goes up into the uh, throttle body the intake manifold is 100% plugged I tried a coat hanger I tried a carburetor parts brush I cannot get it open so my next attempt is going to be this I found in a welding store um, it's a brush it's more flexible than a coat hanger would be I think and it's got these built-in spirals which I think are going to be what I need and maybe when it catches on something I'll be able to turn it and get it all the way up into the passage it needed uh, the carburetor ones I had were working but they were far too short for what I needed um, and this one will be plenty long even with the curve to get in that hole and all the way to the bottom of this thing so it'll be long enough but will it do it I'll, I'll have to see but just uh, just a note that uh, no matter what you would have done with this engine it would have still ran like crap even though you fully rebuilt your long block you would have bolted that manifold back on that intake manifold and you'd be completely screwed you'd be wondering why your manifold why your engine wasn't running right why the emissions weren't as good as they should be and uh, you know you could have idle problems all, all sorts of issues with the fully blocked uh, EGR valve so uh, just go through everything when you're when you're cleaning it up um, and I'm, I'm gonna put a brand new EGR valve on it when I get it put back together here um, there's just never going to be an easier time than when you have it in your hands off the car do it now okay so I found out what happens if you put the thing in there and you try to twist it what happens is it unravels and all the <laughs> all the bristles fall out of the brush um, fail but the good news is the wires might still be long enough to poke what I got to poke but uh, big big fail all right back over to the intake side again and I've gotten the passage open uh, again it was the this passage missed a piece of gasket there got this passage open cleaned up the surface here got it ready for installation I don't have the EGR in my hands right now so I'm gonna just put this on and the EGR will go on easy enough afterwards the EGR valve itself because I don't feel okay with leaving a used one in there especially after what that one had been through Okay, what I got here is a rebuilt um, fuel injection system, throttle body. This is a single barrel carburetor. I got a new uh, fuel pressure regulator and all new gaskets. It's all been apart. It's all been deep cleaned. And everything should be ready to run on it.
Okay, I'm ready to put the throttle body on. Brand new gasket, of course. I believe that's the right way. Yes. Alright, and if I knew which which one this went to, I could even uh, put a first hose on, but uh, let's see, there's two sizes, one's bigger than the other, it's probably the small one, yep, that's the only one that's going to fit that, first hose, put back on, oh, oh, look, an opportunity for two. Oh yeah. Look at the progress. All right, I just uh hooked up that hose from the intake manifold into the water pump housing let's see what else we got all right so I got the oil dipstick tube I got the dipstick out of it now because I don't have the pan on and it's going to be sticking through farther than I have clearance under there of course this just pushes in there's a rubber o-ring up there down there and then we'll lock it in with that bolt just got to figure out how hard we got to push Pretty hard. I'm gonna put a little assembly lube on that O-ring to see if we can get this slide. I'm gonna try just giving it a couple gentle taps. I don't want to kink this thing. Oh, it went right in. Sweet. This bolt, I think, will just go for the dipstick tube. I think the other bolts are for the uh, timing cover. So I think I'm okay putting this on now. Alright, she's coming along up here. I'll put the uh, PCV in, that's the PCV valve there. Put that into its hole. Just start hooking stuff up wherever I can find uh, where it goes. Uh, this hose here looks like it goes into that valley and heads this way. Clip that in. All the little stuff now starts to come in to be important.